This is a 1985 Oldsmobile 66 Cruiser. It has a fucked up uh, fan setup, fan belt setup. It squeaks, makes so much noise. I'll show you how you take care of this problem. I was dealing with it for a long time, but I figured out how to make it from squeaking. And my belt used to come loose too, because there's two belts. One, so one for the power steering, and one for the alternator. And it shares this wheel. So they have to go turn the same time from that same wheel, but it's impossible. The setup, it sucks. So I removed the belt right there for the power steering. And I just kept this one by itself. It goes around the power steering and it goes back to the the fan. It turns it so it turns it evenly now, the power steering and the alternator. That's why it doesn't make noise no more. I show you right now how it sounds without that power steering belt. I took it off. You don't need it. Because how they designed this belt system doesn't work. It squeaks. These kind of cars they know to make all that noise. And sometimes the belt loosening up all the time. By doing this or change the wheel into a single it will work. You just change it to a single, get the power steering only, it will work. Then you get a shorter belt for the alternator going straight to the fan. Separate them. But they're together. So that's why it caused all that issue, that squeaky noise. Okay, I'm gonna turn on the car. Try to find my keys. There it goes. There go the keys right there. Hear the big difference without that belt for the power steering. I took that belt for the power steering. You don't need it. You could do it with the alternator only. See, you don't hear no squeaks no more. That's for my uh, custom cruiser. It's a five point five. Speaking gone. Simple fix. The 85. 
I think the 86 is separate. I don't know why these are together. They're sharing the same wheel. I have a double wheel to be a single. That's how I got rid of my power.